hot chocolate. Yeah, I drink hot chocolate. Uh, that's TNC landscape escaping's favorite drink. Swiss Miss with marshmallows. I like the extra marshmallow ones, but couldn't find them this time. So I got a big old 30 pack of Swiss Miss. And our water is so hot that comes out of the faucet. It's real quick. I mean, like I put it in there and I think I put it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds. And that's it. It's ready. Put the pack in there and go for it. Um, so, what are we doing today? Smoking. Cigarette, of course. Um, I need to quit. I can hear my lungs wheezing sometimes in the morning. Hear it? No, you can't hear it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so, uh, you can see my, half of my face. It's like Two-Face from Batman. Anyway. Um, what we, oh, what are we doing today? We are mowing a couple yards, and then we are going to finish, I started it Friday, I believe. Yeah, I did, uh, overseeding Friday to a buddy of mine's yard that wants it done, and his backyard is ripped up. I mean, he, he was, we cleared this area for, like, um, for a swing set for his two-year-old. And, I mean, it's like a big swing set. It's got, like, you know, it's like one of those houses, you know, like the jungle gym kind of thing. Plus the swing set. So, we cleared that land and put some kitty mulch down, um, which is, like, really finely shredded mulch that they're, they use in playgrounds and stuff. So, we put some of that down. And um, Before we did that, though, he wanted to clear some stuff out of there, I mean, I cut everything down with chainsaw, and then he brought a bob bobcat in, and <clears throat> made a freaking mess, oh my gosh, um, yeah, it was bad, tore up his backyard real bad, I mean, it's nothing but red dirt back there now, which is not going to be easy to plant in, I mean, I wish I could bring in some soil, but, I mean, it'd take a ton of soil, so we're just going to have to do what we can do, anyway, we're going to plant that, and, um, today, plant the seeds, the seeds, the seeds, I'm using Kentucky 31 Tall Fescue, uh, it's pretty much a quick grabbing grass, I mean like it grows quick, so we'll see how that works, I hope it works, um, as long as it keeps it watered it should, and that's the problem too, we haven't had any rain for like three weeks, seriously, like I think we had some a thunderstorm the other night and that's it in like three weeks the, everything is so dry and hard and I mean it's horrible to plan in right now but um so we're gonna go mow a couple yards and do that and do the planting uh the seeding and um I went to Walmart last night and got me some new boots and some new pants I'm gonna try to look more presentable more professional even though that's not what I like, I like just being, you know, rugged, but, <laughs> but I, I think it would be good, I know it would be good, um, I mean, I got a haircut, because my cousin, second cousin, twice removed, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> my cousin Kevin, uh, it's actually my mom's cousin, but anyway, my relative, um, told me I should cut my hair, so I did cut my hair, <laughs> Because it was getting long and shaggy and like my beard was growing all out. I mean, I look like a freaking mountain man. But, um, so I do try to keep that, you know, presentable. And I wear a lot of cut up jeans and stuff. And I'm going to try to stop wearing those to work. Um, even though they're comfortable and, you know, you, air gets through them and stuff. Um, it's just not, I want, you know, I want this to be a professional business. So. I need to look more, more of the part, I guess, um, especially if I'm, you know, the owner and stuff, and down the road, I mean, of course, um, you know, if I ever, if I get employees and all that kind of stuff, I want them to look presentable, so, you know, I have to do that, um, so I got some new boots, which, my old boots were so comfortable, but they, I actually walked the soles out of them, so, <laughs> pretty much, um, I don't know. Yeah, I have them. Here they are. That's my old boots. And they are worn out, as you can see. 
Uh, they're still comfy though, but the sole is about to come off of them. <clears throat> so I got these uh, Survivors from Walmart. Herman Survivors Professional Series is some new boot they have out, and it's it's honestly really good. It, it's nicely made. I like the Herman Survivor uh, big. What's it called? They're the really high ones. Big um, big timber. I love those boots. <clears throat> those are different though. The ones that I just showed you were um, some Walmart brand called uh, dang, can't remember. But they were very comfortable, but they were not waterproof, and I need something waterproof, especially going into winter. So we got their survivors. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I don't think you can see what the heck it says. Anyway, it says Survivors Professional Series since 1879. Anti-puncture. So these are like seriously professional. I mean, these are thick soles and heavy. They are heavy. They're steel toe. I always like steel toe though, but you know, in the wintertime sometimes they can be cold, but we don't get a lot of snow around here, so... It's bearable. Um, but I did wear them last year. I think we had a snowstorm or the year before. Yeah, we had like 9, 10 inches. And like, oh my gosh, my toes were frozen. But those those said they're waterproof, but they really weren't very waterproof. But when you're going around in slush and snow, I mean, eventually they're going to get wet. So, um, so yeah, I got these new boots. I love them. I mean, they are comfortable. They're very comfortable. They have an awesome sole in them. And they're big. And, you know, a lot of people like wearing tennis shoes when they're doing landscaping and stuff. I'm a boot guy. I always have been. I mean, I wore my tennis shoes for a few days because my boots were so, such in bad shape. But I get junk all in them. And I just don't like wearing tennis shoes when I'm working outside. So, let me show them one more time because I like them. They're awesome. <laughs> and that says... Uh, Herman Survivors Professional Series, and they actually have a waterproof tag on them. So we'll see how waterproof they are, or if they're just water resistant. Um, hold on a second. Got to get another sick sip. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's the nectar of the chocolate gods. Um, so anyway, so we're going to rock those today. Get them worn in. That's the worst thing about buying new boots is getting them worn in. And these, like I said, these are heavy, but I'm used to heavy boots. I always wear steel toe, and the ones I did have actually came up to, like, here. So, uh, these are shorter, so I think that'll help a little bit in the sweating of the feet and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, check them out at Walmart. I mean, they have a couple a couple kinds. They have a, another kind that looks like um, it has rubber on the toe, and, like, it looks like what those electrical guys wear, uh, the big... The guys who work on the big um, electrical lines, stuff like that, they look kind of like those, but they were extremely heavy. I couldn't, I couldn't do them. And plus, they were so bulky and wide. And I don't really like a wide boot. I don't have a wide foot, so <clears throat> these are, these are just right. Um, so anyway, there's my boots, and I bought a pair of pants last night that, that um, where did I put? Anyway. I put my other boot. Oh, I only brought one out. Yeah, duh. So, um, what was I saying? Crap. Oh, so I bought a pair of pants last night, and they're Wrangler. And I wore them last night, you know, just to wear them, see how they feel. And they feel really good, and they're thin, too, so that helps. They're kind of like a cargo pant. And I've been needing, ooh, not burn them. I've been needing new, um, or I've been needing more, like, uh, pockets, you know, to carry string or my, you know, little clippers that, you know, I trim a little crap with. <laughs> but, um, so, it, I'll show you them real quick. Um, here they are. I mean, you know, they're very nice looking and, and we're not going to put holes in them and you know they fit they fit me right too they're nice and tight i mean not tight tight but you know what i'm saying like a work pants should so these are what i'm going to be wearing today and i want to get a couple more pairs like this except they have different colors too so um yeah they're they're a nice pant uh i think they were like 20 bucks 
and that's they're just Wrangler regular taper you know like regular jeans taper or whatever they're not boot cut or anything like that so I did cut a couple slips in the bottom of them because I can't stand uh, my pants being too high on my boots you know what I mean <coughs> so anyway that's pretty much what we're doing today I am going to try to record some stuff maybe you know mowing of the yard I haven't done that yet I need to do that I don't know how to edit all this junk either I mean the <clears throat> like Brian's lawn maintenance and Stanley the dirt monkey and Spencer's lawn care and some of the bigger ones on YouTube um there's the guy I really like what's his name uh Kato Kato lawn care that's a good one too but I watch these you know I mean all they do is cut grass and you know talk about customers <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> but um it's like some of it's dramatic But no, they don't really talk about customers. Um, I mean, they might mention, you know, the bad customers, but they're not going to, they don't say their name or anything like that. Nobody knows who they are. So, um, so yeah, uh, I would love to get, up, you know, up to that level and like editing and all that kind of stuff. Don't know how to do that yet, but I'm going to learn. And a lot of the times when they're mowing, they'll speed the mowing up you know while you're watching it it's like in fast motion or whatever so we gotta figure out how to do that kind of stuff and anyway we are going to finish my hot chocolate and like I said hopefully get some action shots today mowing or weed eating or something I don't know I may not I may just be one of the talkers like there's this one guy I watch uh, Jason Creel he does a lot of just talking like I'm talking right now but he has a lot of information he's amazing I've learned a lot of stuff just listening to him. When you think you know everything about landscaping, or I should say lawn care, because I don't know everything about landscaping. Like, you know, landscapers have like bobcats and and uh, front end loaders, stuff like that. I mean, that's real landscaping. Um, I mean, you know, I do mulch, pine straw, or pine needles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I make new beds for people, um, clean out their beds. I mean, I do some landscaping, but I'm not into the, okay, let's, you know, level off this ground with the bobcat, or, I'd love to have a bobcat, but I don't. So anyway, um, you know, you can make a lot of money with that thing. Anywho, uh, so that's what we're doing today, mowing and then, and seeding. So, a little worried about the winter, but... You know, God will provide, you know. I'm actually not worried because I had an old boss call me the other day and say, um, you know, if I have a rough winter, I can come work for him. So, that's really cool. And, I mean, I thought I burnt my bridge with him, but, you know, we've been talking a lot lately. And he, uh, he's been helping me out, you know, with some questions and stuff I have as far as, like, the financial stuff and, um... Anyway, like financial stuff and, you know, how to price stuff, you know, best way of doing things, and it really helps me out, so, um, you know, we're good, and, uh, like I said, he said I could come and work for him in the winter, because he does stay pretty busy, and I can, also, I'm thinking about working for him this winter just to realize, like, see what he does during the winter, because... I mean, a lot of it is he does a lot of Taco Bells, and he does a lot of commercial, and commercials are yearly contracts, so, you know, they get so much per month for the year, you know, and that's something I'd like to get into, too, because, you know, that gives you um, money through the winter, you know. So, anyway, that's all I got. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get going here in a minute, and peace. Have a good night. Day. It looks like night, but it's actually morning. Bye.